Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome. So for today, I'm going to be talking about the split single from Aguirre and Dead Cosmonauts called Eye of Mirrors, which is out digitally on the 5th of March. Also, the proceeds of this single is going to the charity Mind. If you've watched any of my videos before, you might be a little bit familiar with Aguirre. Um, as I've mentioned them a couple of times on my videos. So if you don't know who they are, essentially they are a blackened post-metal band from Manchester and so far they've brought out one EP which is called Silence. So who are Dead Cosmonauts? Well, they are an instrumental sci-fi influenced post-rock band from Sheffield, though the description of themselves is way better than mine. So here's what they've described themselves as. Dark and cacophonous sounds from a lone species on a dying planet in an infinitely expanding universe. So, what did I think of Eye of Mirrors? Did I like it or did I hate it? Let's find out. So, I'm going to start with Agari's contribution and that is the song The Letting Go, which shows these guys at the most concise with it being their shortest song. Also shows them going in a slightly different direction with a lean into the, a grunge influence on this song. As the opening riff, it almost tricks you into thinking that you're listening to a different band entirely. But as soon as the violin and blast beat combo kick in, you're in familiar territory. So, one thing I've definitely noticed from the get-go of this song is the production and mixing on this song. It's really clean and crisp, and I think it's like a step above from the EP Silence. So I'm definitely liking this kind of direction on that sound. So musically speaking, um, I know I've mentioned before that they're leaning towards a grunge direction, which I am definitely all for. It's like they've been paying close attention to bands like Slow Crush, Nothing, and obviously the OGs, Smashing Pumpkins. Though I'm liking that they still kept the black metal elements in this and oh boy they do hit especially with the blast beats they are just on point guitar wise um, the guitars sound really polished and what I like is the dynamic between the grunge elements and the black metal elements like you got the grunge riffs and then it goes straight for the throat with the black metal riffs and it sounds cohesive so talking about the vocals now it still has that like throaty scream with that powerful emotion behind it, which is done really well. Though there's even more of a push on the intensity, going for a higher register towards the end of the song, which is really good. Also, there's um, this kind of standard black metal bleh in the song as well, so that's a good thing as well. It's reason enough to see why Agari are a band to look out for this year. While keeping things concise, they managed to expand their sonic horizons even further with a blissful yet powerful song. Also, the artwork is amazing and I really hope they do a t-shirt run of that artwork. So we've had Black and Grunge Gaze from Agari. So what has Dead Cosmonauts brought? So they've actually done a reimagining of the end credit music from the sci-fi film Blade Runner, which was originally done by Vangelis. So I definitely have to say this is a very interesting idea and is one that actually makes quite a bit of sense as a band who is heavily influenced by sci-fi. Also, I've listened to the Blade Runner soundtrack more times than I've seen the film. So the soundtrack is something is something that I really like. So I'm interested to hear Dead Cosmonauts' take on this. And I definitely think they do a good job of capturing the atmosphere of the original. And however, they've done something a little bit different, which caught me off guard on the first listen. So it starts off a little bit synthy like the original. However, it becomes much more guitar driven with like metallic chugging riffs, similar to bands like Russian Circles. And when it gets going, you can feel your head going back and forth something I never envisioned with the original. And that's what I like about covers. It does something new while keeping like tribute to the original and it works. And also I like how they've adapted like, you know, the um, synthy parts towards the end of the song. And they've done this by doing like a distorted guitar solo, which is just icing on the cake. If you ever wanted to see a much more metallic take on the end credits on Blade Runner, 
look no further than this. I think this is a very intriguing take on the song and I think you should definitely give this a shot. So that was me talking about Eye of Mirrors which is out on the 5th of March. Are you thinking of picking this up? Please let me know if you are down below in the comments section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. I just really want to quickly plug my Facebook page as well, which I'll be including a link in the description section as well. If you want to give that a like, I'm trying to post stuff on there daily. So yeah, if you want to give that a like, that would be super cool. So all I've got left to say to you guys is I've been the dude who talks. As always, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. See you soon. Cheers. <laughs>